Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again, and today I'm reviewing Halo Mega Bloks, and this is set number 96965, and this is the Versus Covenant Locust Attack. So the set includes 284 pieces, and the retail price is $29.99. So the Versus line, basically all it is is Red versus Blue, or the matchmaking aspect from Halo. Uh, the Versus line is exclusive to Target, so we have the only Target sticker up on the top right there, and of course it has a brand new packaging design with the Red EVA Spartan on the left, and the Blue CQB Spartan on the right, and of course it's in the overall 2011 packaging design with the uh, 10 years the Master Chief helmet and the cross down there on the bottom left I mean right uh, so the actual artwork on the front here is pretty cool looking it shows all the different stuff that's included and we also have a little cameo of the assault on high ground set in the background there which is pretty cool actually uh, so let's take a look at the back of the packaging here we do have an actual product photo that shows all the different features and items that are included with this set. We have the individual characters on the bottom left, including the Combat Elite, the CQB Spartan, and the EVA Spartan. Also on the bottom, we have all the other Versus sets, including the Red and Blue Team Weapons Packs, the Red and Blue Team Combat Units, and the Assault on High Ground Space. And it says, Red Team takes control of the new Covenant Locust with the Red Combat Elite trying to capture territory occupied by Blue Team. An incoming blue EVA and CQB Spartan ride at top speed on the new UNSC Desert Magus, determined to even the odds. So that is the packaging there. Let's take a look at all the items that are included with this set. So I'm going to get my camera adjusted here real quickly. Get that there. So here is the brand new Covenant Locust that's included with this set. Pretty cool little vehicle, but the thing is, you know, and... and any of the first person Halo games, we actually never saw the Covenant Locust. The Covenant Locust was actually only in the Halo Wars game, um, so it's kind of a little bit odd that they're actually including it with the Versus line, but uh, you know, oh well, it is a pretty cool little new vehicle. So, you got the uh, Desert Mongoose and the Red Team flag, as well as the two Blue Team minifigures. We got the EVA and the CQB, and we have the one Red Team minifigure, which is the Combat Elite. So, let me get my camera adjusted here a little bit more since I can't seem to line anything up anymore. So there we go. Let's go over the minifigures here. Uh, so I'll go over the only red team figure, which is the Combat Elite. Uh, he's actually a little bit lighter than the uh, Combat Elite that was included with the Covenant Weapons Pack, which was just recently released as well. It's a slightly different color, but for the most part, it's almost exactly the same. Uh, he, the weapon that he comes with is an energy sword, which you can see there, but uh, the only new armor pieces are the head, the torso, as well as the shoulder plates there, which is representing the Combat Elite from Halo 3. On the back of the figure there is a peg hole, and pretty much does it for this Elite here. I believe this is the fourth, fourth time that we've actually seen this figure, so uh, pretty much everyone's used to him already a little bit, but it is nice to get a whole bunch of different Elites in the line here and there. Uh, so articulation is a ball-jointed head, ball-jointed shoulders, hinged elbows, swivel wrist, swivel waist, ball-jointed hips, and hinged knees. So that is the Combat Elite. Let's take a look at the blue team minifigures, so I'll go over the EVA Spartan here. Uh, exactly the same as all the other EVA Spartans that we've seen so far, and I believe this is actually the fourth time that we've seen this figure as well. Uh, so the only new armor pieces are the uh, head, the torso, as well as the shoulder plates, and that is the EVA Spartan from Halo 3 and not Halo Reach. But the weapon that he comes with is a brute shot, which is molded in some gray plastic there. He does have a peg hole on the back as well, and pretty much does it for him. The paint job is actually a slightly darker blue than all the other uh, blue team minifigures that we've seen so far, and um, he does have some really nice paint on the visor there, which really stands out with the gold. There's also some darker gold for the secondary details on the EVA Spartan's uh, visor. Uh, so the articulation is exactly the same as the Combat Elite. So now moving on to the Blue Team CQB. Uh, so this is, I'm not exactly sure, we've seen the CQB quite a bit so far. He does have a gold visor, which really stands out nicely. And the paint is actually the darker paint, exactly like the uh, EVA Spartan there. But he does have some black detailing, which looks really fantastic. He's got the CQB chest plate, helmet, as well as shoulder plates, which is from the Halo 3 CQB, not the Halo Reach one. And the weapon that 
that he comes with is a rocket launcher which is painted in some black paint there and we do have a peg hole on the back of the figure and for the must bear that's pretty much it to him as well and of course he has the same exact articulation as the other two figures here so and that is the many figures that are included with this set let's take a look at the accessories and vehicles so the only accessory that you get here is the red team flag um, so we saw the blue team flag with the uh, salt on high ground space so it makes only sense to include it with uh, one of the other versus sets so here it is uh, we do have the um, UNSC Eagle, the UNSC Eagle right there, and it's pretty much exactly the same as the blue team flag, except, you know, obviously it has a red uh, flag instead of blue. We got the uh, pole right here that has the skull as well as the wings. Um, the base right here, that can be removed if you want to take it off, and you can plug it onto different blocks if you want to, so it's pretty cool like that. And that pretty much does it for the uh, red team flag there. Let's take a look at the vehicles now. So... You get this uh, brand new Desert Mongoose, and this is actually the second version of the Mongoose. Uh, the second version, I believe this is the second time we've seen the second design of this uh, Mongoose. Uh, the other one was included with the UNSC Elephant set, so this is the second one. It's got a really nice brand new desert paint camo scheme right there, which just looks really cool. Of course, we've got a ton of different stickers here and there. we got the brake lights, as well as caution logos, little decals and whatnot. Orange caution logos, and of course, we have the lights up on the front. Got the uh, windshield, the uh, bumper bar, handlebar for the figure to hold on to, as well as the uh, feet bars down there. Uh, they also included this uh, brand new little stand back here so you can get a second minifigure to stand on there like it's accurate to the game. And of course the minifigure can hold on to this little bar right here that's standing on the back. So, Of course each of the four wheels can individually rotate on their own so you can get your mongoose to be actually driving around if you wanted to. So that is the desert mongoose right there. Let's take a look at the uh, Covenant Locust which is actually... Um, I believe this is the second Covenant Locust we've seen, and for me, this is actually my first Covenant Locust. I never picked up the uh, original set that had it, so for the most part, it's a completely new vehicle for me, but... Um, as redesign wise, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it's almost exactly the same aside from some new parts here and there. Uh, they have redesigned the legs slightly, but it's using the same exact articulation. And also the head is actually completely new as well. Uh, but for the most part, I don't really know too much about the other Covenant Locusts, so um, forgive me if I say something wrong. So. Let's take a look at the articulation, and that goes for every single leg, so each of the legs have the same exact articulation. Uh, it can be swiveled at the joint where it connects to the body, and also the joint where it connects to the body can be uh, adjusted up and up and down depending on how you want it. Uh, but for the most part, you know, you can't really adjust it too much because of how the body is designed, but uh, you can move it up and down at different places. Also, where it connects to the uh, knee right here, that can be moved at two different locations, and it can also be moved up and down as well. So that goes for every single leg. So each one of them can be moved at a uh, different position depending on how you want it. So that goes for all those legs. The two legs up in the front are actually different from the legs in the back. Uh, so I guess these are kind of like the combat legs where they can, you know, kick stuff around, move stuff around depending on uh, what they're actually doing. And then on the legs in the back here, they're actually designed a little bit differently. They have a lot more armor as you can see there and they're more bulky looking. They're pretty cool actually in the back than they are in the front. So, uh, But while I have the Covenant Locust turned around, you can see the little cores in the back here. I believe those are supposed to be the engines or the power source for the Covenant Locust itself. And they have a lot of nice detailing on them actually, which is pretty cool looking. So you get those two on the back right there. And here's a good look at the side of the uh, brand new head right here, which looks really cool actually. Um, it can only be rotated about not that much, you know, probably about 80, 90 degrees. You can actually rotate it to about 180 degrees if you lift the uh, body itself up a little bit. But for the most part, you can't really rotate it 360 degrees around if you wanted to uh, because this part right here is actually blocking it. Um, so you take a look at the head of the locust here. And the cool thing is that they actually designed it so where it opens up right there. And there is a seat inside. You can seat one minifigure if you want to. And there is a peg right there so you can just plug them right into there and there you go. So it's a really cool design and I really like how this opens up and it works pretty well. Got some nice detailing up in the front of the locust right here. Got some uh, kind of those flat blocks uh, which look really nice actually on the set. And that pretty much does it for this Covenant Locust. So you get the uh, Covenant Locust as well as the um, Let's see, the Desert Mongoose, the Red Team Flag, and then you get your three minifigures, the blue EVA Spartan, the blue CQB, as well as the, um, as well as my CV, CQB doesn't really want to stand up for some reason. 
get the blue CQB as well as the uh, combat elite right there. And that's all the items that you get with these Covenant Locust Attack. Um, in my opinion, it's very worth the value. For $30, you get a lot of cool stuff, and, and it's definitely worth it in my opinion. So if you do see this in the stores, go ahead and pick it up right away because it's a really cool set. Um, so anyways, that's pretty much it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video.